Imagine I'm a data engineer or architect tasked with building a data warehouse. Historically, I've had two choices for this. Legacy, wizard, or widget-based GUI tools that quickly frustrate me because of their rigidity, or code-first solutions with mountains of manual work, an incredibly inefficient way of doing things that I don't have the data engineering resources for. Enter Coalesce, a new platform built for Snowflake with both the ease of a GUI, but also the full flexibility of code. Now in the background here, I've connected to Snowflake, selected a few tables that I want to be begin transforming, and I'll create a stage table off of my customer source. Now I can leverage the power of Snowflake. Any functionality or feature in Snowflake, I will be able to leverage within the Coalesce UI. Now here we'll do a couple simple transformations on individual column, or I could do this at massive scale, bulk operations for transformations and other modifications to your data. Now, again, Coalesce is all about scale, and here I'll add a handful of stage tables and continue to develop my data pipeline. Here we'll add dimension. Coalesce is gonna leverage data warehousing best practices where I can choose, is this a table or is this a view? What's the key? Let's add a slowly changing dimension and actually create and load this data in Snowflake. Now, as Coalesce is doing this, it's generating all best practice Snowflake SQL, where you can see this is exactly what it generated for a type two slowly changing dimension in Snowflake. Now let's fast forward a bit and say we built out a bigger DAG and inevitably there's a change. And I need to figure out how is this going to impact my data flow. Because of Coalesce's column aware architecture, out of the box, we have column level lineage. You can see upstream, downstream, how objects are affected. Now let's say there's a new column in my source and I need to propagate it downstream to 50 or 100 or 500 objects. With Coalesce, because of that column aware architecture, that's only a couple clicks away. Well, I'll propagate this change downstream, choose exactly which objects I want it to apply to. And just like that, the columns have been propagated to those objects. Not having to manually go through and add these columns to different SQL scripts is a massive win for me. Now, as I'm going through and building in Coalesce, I need to ensure that there's a level of trust. Right out of the box, there's built-in testing to make sure data quality checks are passed in your pipeline, as well as full Git integrations. You can integrate with your CI CD workflows to enable version control and instill further trust. As I've been building, I came across a use case that wasn't pre-built into Coalesce. This is where I can use the full flexibility that Coalesce offers to create my own templates and standards. Here I'll go in and modify what we call a user-defined node to create my own set of standards. Now I can define exactly how I want the GUI to appear to others on my team. So as an architect, I can define exactly what options someone has, what it's called, how it works within our environment to ensure that best practices are always adhered to. So here I'll say, hey, maybe things should only be materialized as views. I don't want people to be using tables for this node type and a couple options like overriding SQL I want to actually turn off. Now, when my data engineers on my team go to use Coalesce and continue development, they go create this custom node and those options are exactly how I've specified them. So I've developed the beginning of a data warehouse. From here, I'll deploy using the scheduler of my choice and I'm well on my way to the journey of building an enterprise data warehouse at scale in Snowflake.